my friend. We are all interested in the future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives. And remember, my friend, future events such as these will affect you in the future. You are interested in the unknown, the mysterious, the unexplainable. That is why you are here. And now, for the first time, we are bringing to you the full story of what happened on that fateful day. Now, many of you movie connoisseurs would know the epic science fiction Edward movie Plan 9 from Outer Space. I'm not here to talk about that piece of cinematic history. I'm here to talk about a game that would come 33 years later from Gremlin. Now, instead of a trek down memory lane that is this movie, this place takes long after the movie's release. You play as a detective where you're hired to recover six master reels stolen by Thomas Mason, whose plan is to remove all the scenes of Lugosi and replace them with his own, and colorize the movie to boot. So wait, why are we stopping him again? You would think Bella would be glad not to be in this movie. Graphics are average for a time, but it does take a tongue-in-cheek approach to some of them, such as the inclusion of cameos of Tor Johnson and Vampyra. It even includes a way of looking at the clips from the movie, albeit without sound. The music of the game comprises of only one song, and you'll hear this from the beginning to the end. It is somewhat haunting and eerie, but after 30 minutes the track is just plain annoying. The sound effects are few and far in between. Many are not very intrusive, since it's the sound of the taxi as you travel between locations, to near unbearable with the sound of the bats in the cave. It's pretty much your standard early 90s point and click adventure. You have your standard commands and they're all pretty self-explanatory. Now there is a hit option, but it's only going to be useful one time in the entire game. Another thing about this game is that you can take anything that isn't nailed down. Of course you'll find out all too soon that you can't carry it all. Even more vexing is that half the items are red herrings, which makes this even more useless but just to add insult to injury, you won't even know which items are useful until it's too late or you got rid of the item that could have saved your ass. Like any good detective, it's wise to examine everything, and I mean everything, since many clues are hidden there. If you think it's dumb to examine it, you're probably on the right track. Also a good detective will note everything, even if it doesn't match what he sees. As the game goes on, the puzzles and their solutions stop making sense. Now this isn't to say that they were at first, but at least they were just bad jokes. The beginning begins to spiral out of control into... What the hell? Did I just get captured by who I think I got captured by? Damn it, I've been captured by Ninja. Now this is just getting plain surreal. So they take me to a monastery, and the monks take you to the seventh state of Nirvana, and I meet the aliens. I have no words. This game went from a tongue-in-cheek adventure to a disjointed, nonsensical, illogical mess. As I said, many of these puzzles had to be solved with trial and error, and the occasional death. This coupled with the extensive amount of backtracking that is needed, and some of that that accidentally happens as you forget things, makes this a major pain to play. It would be one thing if it was a very humorous payoff, but no, they blindside you with this hack eye ending that really has no bearing on the main adventure and just drops you off like a kid who just didn't get any presents on Christmas Day. The Pros An original pros to a movie based game. The easy to navigate and use interface. The ability to watch some of the clips from the movie. Puzzles with a slight wink in their solutions. The cons, only one song plays throughout the entire game. The total abandonment of the story after the middle of the game, and many of the puzzles require trial and error just to get by, and backtracking is very annoying since it may take a long time to find out the solution. Well, that is all for today. Later days. My friend, you have seen this incident based on sworn testimony. Can you prove that it didn't happen? Perhaps on your way home, someone will pass you in the dark, and you will never know it 
for they will be from outer space